welcome back everyone to a long episodic Cobra Kai Season 6 Watch Party! Many months ago in May, I broke the biggest story of the Cobra Kai fandom. I revealed there would be 15 episodes in Season 6. The source being an obscure online registry the Hollywood Studios created to streamline back-end work for any movie and TV show. And such, there was much rejoice. The longest season ever was heralded as a soothing thought during the writers and actors' strikes. All was going well until a few nights ago. Hayden Schlossberg, the Joker of Cobra Kai, had one of his normal Q&As. He answered some questions, but most importantly was asked how many episodes will be in season 6. And he said 10. Wait, what? 10? That can't be. Watch Party, that's me says there are 15, but there it is, 10 episodes. I don't get it. No one is more accurate than Watch Party. My predictions are the best in the business. How could I be so, so wrong? How could I be so thoroughly defeated? But wait a second. I am Cobra Kai. That's right. Defeat does not exist in this dojo, does it? No, that's it! Never accept defeat. Yeah, I can't take this line down. I have a reputation to uphold. Or perhaps, more importantly, a reputation to expose. Because I don't see why anyone should take Hayden at his word. My co-host on Cobra Kai Companion long ago coined the term Hayden Anakins. What's that mean? Well, Hayden likes to stir up trouble, you see. Create rifts in the fandom. He's been doing it for a long time. It's kind of his thing. His most famous example was back in Season 3. He said there would be three deaths in it. Everyone thought, whoa, this is going to get dark and serious. Well, technically he did lie. Ponytail died. This guy died. Then Captain Turner died. Three deaths. But none of them were main characters, and one of them, this guy, wasn't really even a character at all. It's worth noting some people felt wronged and misled by that and have never forgiven him. There's also the time he said the next season will be out in weeks, and by weeks he meant like half a year. One of my personal favorite stories is during a Q&A he was asked about Terry Silver. He randomly drops that he was spending a lot of time in South America. That was not an accident. He was deliberately trying to trick people into thinking he was in Ecuador and somehow maybe related to Miguel. That worked, by the way, in a story we won't get into. The point is, in the past several years, Watch Party has proven to be the most reliable source of information. My theories are as good as gold. However, in that same amount of time, Hayden has proved himself to be a trickster, a deceiver, someone who cannot be trusted. Even in that night's Q&A, there was proof. Yeah, he said there would be 10 episodes, but then later on, someone asked, where did they film Cobra Kai? He answered, San Francisco. Well, if you didn't know, they shoot the show down in Atlanta, Georgia, and have done so since the beginning. If he's willing to lie about something like this, something that's just an easy answer, don't you think he may lie about something far more consequential? So I remain unconvinced, and frankly, I'm a little shocked so many people immediately took Hayden at his word. Apparently, these people have what I would call Haydenesia. That is where Hayden misleads you on one topic, but then the next time he says something, you've completely forgotten about that and take him at his word. Oh my goodness, it's true. Nah, Haydenesia. I feel like this is and may turn out to be the standoff of season six. It's a year away and you are so smart and resourceful and world class. I know you'll make the right decision. Have a great day. I'll see you at the next watch party. Try on.